In rural McMinn County, some recent murders have residents on the edge. Between Athens police officers and McMinn County Sheriff's officers, they are investigating three separate cases that left six people dead and three others hurt. Liam Collins has reaction. Five people are facing charges for three separate murders here in McMinn County, and they all happened in the last two weeks, a situation people who live here tell me has been unraveling for years. A community reeling from a week of violence. It's the talk of the town for people in McMinn County. Jessica Obringer owns Happy Hounds in downtown Athens. And it's a small town, so it gets around pretty quickly. Six people have died and three others hurt in three separate murders being investigated by Athens police and the McMinn County Sheriff's Office. The most recent, a man accused of killing another man with a machete. James Ramey's affidavit says he initially told police he, quote, went crazy and needed to be put down. He's facing second degree murder charges. I feel like Athens used to be a pretty relaxed town, but it seems like here, at least the past year or two, things have just been escalating. Four people were killed and two hurt in a shooting after a dispute over a 10th month old baby over the weekend. Two people, including the baby's mother, are charged with first degree murder. Two people were also charged in a separate shooting that killed a woman outside of Athens early last week. Life is so stressful right now that I think that people's tempers are short and um, we just need to be kind to one another. Janie Emig runs a food pantry in downtown Athens. She says she sees firsthand the stress the people she serves are under during the pandemic. People are hurting for money, they're hurting for jobs, um, medical bills are higher, and, and they're just scared. And, you know, I think with fear comes violence. The violence is breaking the hearts of the people in this tight community, and the faces of the victims are burned into their memories for good. I think that we just all need to be patient and kind with one another, and we're going to get through this. Local police say that these incidents are completely unrelated and that there is no ongoing threat to the community, but they say that they have never seen such a string of violence in their careers. In Athens, Liam Collins, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.